everybody. I hope you're having a good day. I am out riding the back road, headed back home. But Honda Goldwing hater. I've never seen a Goldwing hater before. And what I'm talking about is a guy I met that actually really hates Goldwing. No, I know. I love Goldwing. I like the bike. I love riding it. And I know everybody have their own preference when bike. Ooh, but, but to have somebody hate it on a level in which he hated it and, a, and, and brought the hate toward me kind of blew me away. Uh, this was a guy that I met. I was out having a good day, having a good ride, and decided to stop by the local cycle gear. And when I stopped by the cycle gear, they made me pick up a few things. And the local cycle gear is in the next city over from where we live is Pittsburgh, California. Now, uh, we try to use this cycle gear if we're gonna go to cycle gear. We try to use this one all the time because they've been pretty good to us. And what I mean is very supportive. When we were in a chapter, they donated items for our chapter rally. And, you know, they've been supportive to Cake and I as individuals also. So we try to use that cycle gear. I mean, like any store, you go to the store enough, people start to know who you are. We walk in the store, the manager say, hey, Rich and Cake, and they know what type of bike we ride. Now, let me give you how this, how this thing went. It was a very, very strange conversation. Now, when you go to Cycle Gear, hey, how you doing? That was a nice bike. When you go to Cycle Gear, for the most part, most of the Cycle Gears, you can park directly in front of the store and they can see you coming in. However, on this particular day, I didn't park directly in front of the store. I parked maybe 30, 40 feet away from the store and they could not see my bike as I entered the store. But when I got in the store, it was a good feeling to notice that uh, a couple of people recognized me. Some of the staff recognized me. And, you know, we have a good relationship with the staff. Not to the point to where we know their family and all that type of stuff. But I'm just talking about a customer relationship. And that's important to us. Okay. However, on this day, I'm having a great day. I mean, in the store, shopping, looking at items, maybe some new stuff. I'm going to purchase for our next ride. And I think I purchased gloves that day or some other things. I forget exactly what all I had. And having a good time, talking to the staff members, conversation going good. And the store was not crowded. Maybe eight to 10 people in the store at the most. So I got my items, go to the front, pay for it at the register. And so still having a conversation with the staff. And we weren't whispering, we was talking, laughing and clowning, high-fiving, you know, just having a good, good old time. And I noticed one of the customers standing on the side. So I didn't want to take his time off, like I could let him pay for his item first. But he wasn't ready to pay for his item. So we're having a conversation. Now, I'm at the front, obviously, and a manager asked, do I still ride the gold wing? And I, yeah, it's out there. But he didn't see me walk in, so he didn't know if I, was, I rode in or walk in. And when he asked about the gold wing, the customer that I noticed, ear hustling, eavesdropping on our conversation, which not a problem because we were speaking loud enough to where everybody could hear. I noticed he kind of perks up. So I'm thinking, okay, another gold wing rider, whoo -hoo! But that wasn't the case. It was not the case. He did not join in on a conversation, so I didn't know. Uh, water. It's our rainy season. Wow. Let me go around this. And look, it is beautiful out here. California, we normally don't get this green, especially in the summer, but look like we might have a good summer. Anyway, I walk out of the store after purchasing my items. And I noticed, you know, I didn't park in front of the store, so I had to walk back to my bike. I noticed the guy leave the store also. So obviously he didn't pay for anything. And he following me. Well, I wouldn't say follow me. Well, in this case, he was following me. He was directly behind me. So my spidey single start, senses start to tingle. I'm like, okay, why did this guy follow me? So I stopped at my bike, and he stopped. Now, mind you, there were several other bikes in front of the store. I'm going to get back to that. 
and it was an older guy, older to me. No, not World War II type old. He wasn't in his 80s. And I say that because the rest of this have a bearing on how this conversation went. Caught me off guard. So he said, can I ask you a question? And I'm like, yeah. And he said, why did you buy a Honda Goldwing? So obviously I'm thinking, he's in a market for a Goldwing or he rides a Goldwing. So I start telling him about, you know, the good things about the Goldwing, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And he was like, no, why would you buy a Honda Goldwing? And I go through the same thing. And I said, and I, I think I asked him, were well, you looking to buy one? And he said, no, <laughs> here's where the conversation got strange. He said, I would never buy any products from the Japanese. Now, he did not use Japanese. He used a derogatory remark, remark which threw me off. So at that point in time, the conversation didn't get hostile. But at that point in time, I'm thinking, okay, where's this guy head at? Why is he saying this to me? And I put myself between my bike and him, just in case. You know, I'm thinking tactically. You know, I need to put some space between me and this person. I mean, fortunately, it didn't get to that at all. It didn't get to that at all. But it got weird. You know, it was like a, a slamming on my brake. What just happened? Now, his next words, I'm paraphrasing because I don't remember exactly. But he said, I would never buy products for them because they burrowed, because they bombed Pearl Harbor. <laughs> I was like, you guys can know to my amazement. I was like, what are you talking about? And I guess he could see the look on my face. And he said, why would you buy somebody, something from a country that bombs your country? And, 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 and I was still stunned. So my next comeback line was something along the effect of, you realize we won that war, right? And we are now allies with Japan. And he's like, well, I don't care. Now, that's the only time his voice got high. I still stayed between the bike, just in case. And so I, I, I closed my trunk, because initially I was putting my items in my trunk. And I decided, okay, it's time for me to leave. So I ignore him. Eventually, he walked away. Now. Here's the strangest part. <laughs> the very, very strange. I watched him. I'm thinking he's going to go get on one of the bikes that was parked in front of Cycle Gear, one in which was a Harley, because he told me he ride Harley Davidson. Got no problem with that. Because when you think American motorcycle, and let's be honest, regardless of what you think about any bike, you think Harley Davidson. That's what we all think. And I know people are going to say, well, Harley get their parts from China and all over the all over the world. That's no different than any bikes. And we know Honda Goldwing was manufactured in Ohio for a while. So that's not my point. But he did not get on a Harley Davidson. People, I watched this guy get into a pickup truck. Not a big deal. I love trucks. And then I watched him pull out. <laughs> this way, it was like a punch in the mouth. This is why I didn't understand how this conversation got started. He pulled out and I watched him come towards me. So of course, I'm being a little bit more cautious. I watched him come in my direction, I should say. And he was in a Toyota. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. He was in a Toyota. And I'm like, do he not realize where Toyota come from? Who makes Toyotas? And I, obviously, I don't know if he owned the truck or rented it and everything, but it looked like it wasn't a, a rental. It looked like it was pretty used truck. Tell me what you think about that. What just happened? He crying about Honda, but yet he get in a Toyota pickup truck. I'm coming to the house, so I'm about to cut this short. And I just stared at him as he passed. He did not look at me, but I'm staring like, what just happened? I had a buy to go chase this guy down. Anyway, I'm coming to the end, but let me show you what I, what I normally do when I come to my garage. This is my house here on the corner. Oh, there's no other cars in front. But normally there's cars parked right here and right there. And this is why you practice your slow riding. But watch this. I normally come right here. There's no other car here. Instead of pulling in, I just get a little quick practice in. Look where I'm going and pull directly up to my garage. But anyway, that's all I have for now. So if y'all riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. From Boosting Jeans Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace.